Well, the wait for a true French 4x4 is finally over. Cousins of Mitsubishi's Outlander, they enter a segment of the market that is on the rise. Even though in France the progression of this segment is real, in Italy and in Spain it has yet to reach the same level. Test driving one is to test drive the other. The only difference to be found is the aesthetics, and today we'll differentiate the two. First, there's the front end. This angle shows the difference is more than any other. Each has its own radiator grill, and here at Motors TV we rather fancy the C-Crosser. At the back, the differences are harder to spot. Chrome trim for the 4007 versus single tone paint for the Citroen, which has diode style brake lights. From the side, it's more complicated. The wheels are the best way to distinguish one from the other, despite the fact that the Citroen badge can be noticed on the rear door. Well, as we said, the not overly attractive and unimaginative Mitsubishi Outlander was the base for both, and some desperately needed creativity had to be added. For Peugeot, it takes the form of the in-your-face front end that's found on all pugs. It has an allure much closer to a raised estate than a traditional SUV. Massive, not really elegant, but it's all a question of taste and colour. Citroën C-Crosser has a more refined front end and a more stylish and innovative design. But beyond that, it isn't guaranteed that these two SUVs will stand out against the likes of Toyota's RAV4 or a Freelander 2. The modularity of the interior was well thought out. The boot's tailgate is a smart idea when it comes to loading. And there's easy access to two small rear seats stowed in the floorboard. And there are other nifty bits borrowed from the Outlander. The rear view camera, the onboard computer and the touchscreen GPS. The rest of the interior is all Mitsubishi. Only the logo on the steering wheel lets you know that you're in a 4007 or C-Crosser. There's plenty of legroom for backseat passengers. The plastic touches aren't great, but the overall package is OK. Under the bonnet is the famous 156 brake horsepower 2.2 HDI, which is just a tick louder in the Peugeot than the Citroen, which can be attributed to a better quality soundproofing in the C-Crosser. It's this sort of detail that separates the two, or rather lets one stand out more than the other. So, these two French vehicles do come up with a differential. Enough for a jaunt on dirt roads or on trails, but not enough to take on any serious obstacle or any steep climbs. There isn't much suspension travel, and very quickly and can become uncomfortable. Be that as it may though, it's very safe. They are also identical when you get on the road. The driving position is correct. Rolling effects can easily be controlled as long as it's done smoothly. On the other hand, the gear lever sticks a little. The diesel engine is a perfect fit and overall one does feel at home aboard. To create two French SUVs is a daring wager in the face of stiff competition. The 4007 and C-Crosser will have to fight it out. It's a question of taste when it comes to choosing one from the other.